That is just not even right. It's so uncivilized. So if you buy one of these, that's what you want. You want to know that you've got a bull's bits between your legs. Supercar is a phrase that we hear banded around an awful lot these days, but think about it. In reality, there's only a few very special cars that truly fit the criteria, and one of those is this, the Lamborghini Aventador. If you're going to take a modern-day supercar like the Aventador to a racetrack, what other vehicle deserves its place alongside it? It is the car that arguably created the supercar genre. It is a 1985 Lamborghini Countach. It just doesn't get any better than this at all. And I can absolutely testify to the fact that growing up as a teenager in the 80s, any lusty young male had a poster of this car complete with Farrah Fawcett. That was the stuff that dreams were made of. And today, if you think about it, between the Aventador and the Countach, you could definitely say, I am in supercar heaven. Now, this isn't a road test. This is not a head-to-head. -head. This is a case of old bull meets young bull. Okay, listen to that. As you go to shift gear, it has the most tangible, visceral, mechanical feel to it. I mean, like all Italian cars of that era, you just have to hold on, clutch, don't rush it, and then let it go through the gears. Woo! Understeer mid-corner, understeer all the way through the corner. I'm going to stay on exit of the corner. <laughs> if I look like I'm working, it's because I bloody am. It's nice to feel weight transfer again. We get so used to how minimized it is in modern sports cars. I'll tell you what, it'd be really good for any driver of a modern day sports car to get behind the wheel of something from 30 years ago to remind you how Incredibly lucky we are. There's absolutely no headroom at all. Couldn't wear a helmet, that's for sure. And I'm straddling the steering wheel like I'm doing pottery. Whoa. I've said whoa a lot, but it is a whoa thing. Well, that is a lap in a Lamborghini Countach. Time traveled back to 1985. And it made me realize that while I was riding around on my bicycle, real men were getting their jollies off in a white on white on white supercar. Launches off the line, all wheel drive. It's just extraordinary to suddenly be in a modern car in that absolute back to back. You just arrive at the corner so much faster. And thankfully, you know, big carbon brakes. It stops you too, because if the Countach went this fast, I'd never have made the turn. Wow, this is just so impressively fast. And it feels so easy. It just feels as though everything about it is on this higher frequency of performance. But obviously, it's a supernaturally fast car, so it does take a little bit of getting used to. Amazing. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to put it over into Corsa now 
see what that does for me. God, it tucks in beautifully. It's got the same, oddly enough, feel of turning as its predecessor many times over. But, <laughs> now I'm in Corsa, which is track mode. Every shift feels as though someone's punching me in the back of the head. None of that dual clutch, PDK, lightweight stuff. This is a manly man's gearbox. This reminds you every time, just like that you Am I allowed to say that? I don't know. But it's very aggressive. Boy, oh boy. When I say it's... But it's aggressive in a way that is very controllable. It's says I as I go sideways. But it's got amazing grip. It's very neutral. It leads with understeer to this neutral mid-corner. Stable platform situation. And then you pull on that fantastic large gear shift. Oh, scream at me! Bloody I hope this looks as fast as it feels. And of course, out the back there you can see that push rod suspension, just like a Formula One car, keeping all the weight as close to the center of the car as you can. You can feel it working as we go through these corners. Amazing. Holy sh**. Check back each week for more on your eBay Motors mobile app.